we have going on right now the most perfect symmetrical triangle on Bitcoin. And if you have been following me over the years, you know how much I love, I absolutely love to trade symmetrical triangles, especially picture perfect textbook examples of symmetrical triangles that we have going on right now. And it might surprise some, but I go against the textbook, against the sheep way of thinking that everyone approaches it the same way. That is how market makers really start to influence. And you start to see this occur in the charts, that these textbook patterns do not play out as expected. We're in 2024. We are in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin is a beast. And if you are not on the ball, if you are not ahead of the curve, it will leave you behind and it will leave you wrecked. My mission of this video is, of course, to make you not get wrecked, to assist you in making some profits. OK, as we are going to focus on the next potentially few months, actually, of trading as we go on within this triangle and within the sideways range. Where is that sideways range? Of course, it is the same overall high of around seventy four thousand dollars down to the same range low at around fifty eight thousand dollars within this range now forming the triangle. Before we begin, I want to make one very important point where it comes to taking these trades. And first of all, we need to preface this by we have a potentially another month until we reach the apex of this triangle, right? We can still make another lower high and a higher low. This could go on till around the end of April, potentially. And so there's a few important things that I want to, let's just say, remind you of if you have not already heard this before. And that is something that's very important. Right now, we have two big groups of people that are going on in the chart. I see a lot. And you know, myself, it's it, it blows my mind, but there are a lot, a lot of Bitcoin bears right now. You know, I'm seeing so many people starting to get anxious, starting to even feel, you know, this scaredness that's coming on. I see people talking about 20, 10, $5,000. You know, they're all expecting these massive crashes. And for me, it is a little bit mind blowing. We're, we're, we're trading just below all time highs. Yes, we've seen around, you know, a 15% pullback, but this for me is not enough to start thinking we're getting a massive crash. But that's what I'm seeing people saying. And I think it just comes down to a few different factors that we see here together, right? First of all, we got the gamblers coming back in. We are going through sideways consolidation and a lot of people, what, what their, their own worst enemy, what is the majority of people's own worst enemy? It is themselves. They can't handle the emotion. They can't handle sitting on their hands and waiting patiently for a high probability trading setup. You know, I pride myself on this and this is what I show to the champs every single day. I will wait for the best. I'm not here to take mediocre 50-50 gambling trades. I'm waiting for the 80-90% high probability trading setups that I have built statistics on over thousands of trades, over a decade of trading, right? I wait for these good, high quality trades. I'm not going to fall into the gamblers and that's what people are going to start creeping in and doing. We've made a lot of profits during this bull run, right? Long and chill, looking for higher. We've secured the profits, but a lot of what a lot of people will find themselves doing is throwing away these profits, taking bad trades out of boredom during this period of consolidation. In today's video, I want to go through the technical analysis and remind you of the best trades of where one would be waiting for, for a high quality trade setup. Okay, and the second group of people, just people getting way too bearish too quickly. From my opinion, my predictions and my trade setups. We are here to make profits, be that to the upside or downside. I can trade longs, I can trade shorts. Let me talk you through what we will be looking to trade next on the charts. So here we are together looking at Bitcoin. Once again, surprise, surprise, it's my, here's the love of my trading career. I, I love trading Bitcoin, what can I say? Um, <laughs> of course, we are currently going into this lovely sideways triangle, which I think a lot of people can recognize now. First thing we want to do, right, I already will tell you, we're trading just below the range point of control. We want to take the fixed range from the start of our range, right, to current price action. Give that another click. We can see how we perfectly back tested it yesterday. We got a retracement down to the CC. 
And this is one, yeah, if you were awake during this time, you do have a good trade setup, right? Because, you know, I was actually looking at this this morning and my thoughts are, okay, you don't have much in terms of confluence, but you did come back to the CC, okay? You do come down to value area lows. So you start to pull a fixed range of the mini range, right? You've got the value area low on the CC, Fibonacci level. And when you look at the order flow, you also had some bullish divergences. You see here, this is the CC value area low retest. Look at that very big bullish divergences. So when you actually spend more than a, a second looking at it, you can recognize, well, yeah, actually you, you did have that long opportunity on this retest. When you look at the order flow, when you look at the Fibonacci, you look at the volume, you come down together three levels of confluence yeah, day traders, eyes light up because that is an acceptable long trade, right? So we, that's what we got going on on the lower term time frame. On the medium term time frame, we are still below the range point of control. And I know a lot of people are thinking right now is, do we need to fill this CME gap? Daniel, we still haven't filled the CME gap. Is it likely that we still go on and fill it? And for me, this, this does fit heavily on this range point of control. Of course, we're going to be coming up for another retest very shortly. So we are locally like looking for a little bit more of a rise. Let's get another test of the local range high. From there, we will see one of two things, just as like we did at the range highs and range lows is on every single range that we've been trading during this uptrend. We will either look for a simple breakout of this local range high, and that simultaneously would be reclaiming the range point of control. Well, then we no longer need to focus on that CME gap because then the probabilities locally are for another rise to the upside. So you can see how, as a professional trader, this is day in, day out. You know, we are able to adapt, and that is the main key focus word today, adapt. We need to adapt our trading biases and trades to what the market is telling us. If the market is trading below range point of controls, there is no bullish order flow showing. Okay, probabilities, of course, are lower. But then if we start to get retests, bullish divergences, reclaims of range value, range value, such as the range point of control, okay, breaking out of local range highs and holding it as support, you know, to still be looking for the CME gap fill at that time is not trading the charts. And we teach trade the charts. If you want to make profits in this market, trade the charts. OK, you can be, you know, a lot of people don't understand this, what we mean. You know, I sometimes one day I'm bullish, the next I'm bearish. One day I'm taking a long, the next I'm taking a short. When price drops, I look for longs. When price rises, I look for shorts. OK, I trade the charts. I will trade those high probability trade setups. Some people sometimes view this as flip flopping. Daniel, you're a flip flopper. One day you're bullish. The next day you're bearish. One day you're taking a long, the next price rises and you're turning that long into a short trade. Daniel, you're such a flip-flopper. My friends, this is trading the charts. This is what a professional needs to do. If you are serious about this game, you need to understand, especially when we're talking about the lower term timeframes, you should be changing your bias every day. If you are remaining bullish for days on end, when there's clearly a downtrend, you're doing something wrong. Just as if we rise in price and you are ultra perma bearish, you're doing something wrong. We got to analyze the charts, identify good high probability trade setups, remain patient for those setups. Okay, and then when time comes, check the reaction and take the trade, trading the charts. Remove your bias, focus on the data that you have in front of you. And that's what I mean, data looking at the order flow. Retest of the CC, value area low, bullish divergences. Okay, look at the amount of shorts you had opening here. Over 5 million. You're coming down towards the low. Okay, this is on declines of open interest, but you can see minus 17 million, fairly high volume. Okay, you get the reclaim above those 5 million open interest shorts. And you can see from that reclaim, well, it's just been up during the rest of the day. So you start to recognize well, that's naturally a long opportunity, okay? I was actually, I did not take this long. I will say that because I was, I was asleep during this move of the downside. But if I was awake and I was looking to trade, that is a long opportunity. That's what we teach. Anyone that's under our membership would know that's the long. 
okay <laughs> so you know it's just remains you know just requires that little bit of patience so what are we looking at then in terms of this triangle the bigger triangle well as mentioned we got the lower term time frame range uh, that we have with the parallel channel locally we have that range value um point of control if we can get the reclaim of this of course we can be looking for a push back up to triangle high if we get a fake out failed auction well then we can continue to trade the local range till it breaks and if it does break down we look for that cme gap fill that could give us a nice fake out okay if we go down to the lower daily level that we have remember we have a daily down here that could give us a break to the lower daily to give a fake out of the triangle low as I mentioned at the start of this video, I love to trade fake outs. What we mean by that is breaks of the upside before coming back down, breaks to the downside before coming back in. And I will tell you, right, the majority of the people look to trade this triangle as a symmetrical triangle, plain as day saying, okay, price is moving up, triangle forms, continuation pattern, bam. They think it's as simple as that. Bitcoin does not make it as simple as that. The majority of the time, sometimes it does. Sometimes it is as simple as that. And you will know, for me, <laughs> I would happily trade it if it is as simple as that, right? I would remain looking for simply the range high. I'm not going to fight and short this if it is clearly getting a legit breakout. But I have got my brain wired to be aware of a fake out. I know that this is a series of high where I have a short opportunity, right? I'm not thinking to myself, I'm going to long the breakout. But I am thinking to myself, I have a potential short of the fake out. And that is the big brain shift. Okay. And honestly, that is what helps me become a profitable trader. Does it work every single time? No. Do I win every single trade I take? No. I take losses. I take wins. But I have a good win rate. And I am very focused on waiting for those good trades or what I feel are high probabilities. There's no 100%, so I will still take losses. Absolutely, yes. But I have got the emotional control. <laughs> I do recognize it is a game of probabilities. Biases need to change with new data, new order flow. This is the secret source here. If you're looking for something to increase your win rate, it's the order flow reading. It's trading the reactions. So yeah, that's that's really what I got going on here and what I'm looking at. One, well, really tight kind of two, I suppose. Very quick announcements for you, and this is something that I am very proud of. Uh, we have going on right now Severin in his new live trading stream. So we're adding new live trading. We've got rivalry as starting now the Bitcoin Asian sessions every Tuesday and Thursday for all you. Uh, Asian champions out there for all the people living in America. Okay, this is very helpful. And so now this is starting at 2 a.m. UK time. Okay, you can translate that to your time zone. Uh, from 2 a.m. UK time, we got now a evening Bitcoin update from Coach Rivalry. So you, we've added in two new streams a week, or well, three if you think about it. Two from Rivalry, uh, an evening or nighttime update for all the people that were saying, wow, you know, we want some more coverage towards the end of the night. We had people from America saying, ah, I like your daily updates, but I always have to watch them late. Well, now we've got something for everybody. Rivalry with his Asia update hours, you know, good for the Americas out there that want to be around for this, people living in Australia, etc. We got you covered with this new stream. Severin also starting his new live trading stream where he's going to be covering the markets too, including crypto, right, uh, for live trading. We've got more announcements coming up this month with more sessions added and even more quality added to our service. And it's like I say here, we are not stopping to improve. OK, make this very clear, right? One can absolutely become complacent when they reach the top. I truly feel <laughs> we are very close to the top right now, but we are not going to stop working. We are not becoming complacent as we so easily could. And maybe a few years ago we would have. But now we've got this mindset shift. Right. We want to help more. We want to give even more value back. We want to give even more help to the champions that are wanting to change their life. We are putting in the work necessary to get you to that life changing goal, becoming a full time, profitable, consistent trader. You want it. We can help you get that. And it's not just words. We are clearly putting our well, our money where our mouth is with our live trading. We're putting in our time and dedication to really, truly wanting to get you to that level. And it's possible. And the results are real. When you look through the members that have put in the time, they are making the profits now. They studied hard and they're walking away with big, happy, 
smiles on their faces. They are reaching their goals. You know, they are achieving their dreams. They are able to support their families through trading. And that is what, that's what we're all about, right? Like I say, more, loo, more new streams have been added, live trading streams, new strategies and templates. They've all been released very recently. And, you know, there is no second best. We are working very hard to remain the best in the business. And that is the trading education. So yeah, reminder, we now have the rivalry streams for the nighttime Asian American Australian traders out there. All you people around that time zone, happy to see we have added that new session for you for those Asian updates covering crypto. And final reminder that we do still have the 70% off going on right now. This is literally going to be ending. We have decided to extend it for really only the next 24 hours. Why? Because there are a lot of people saying, hey, Easter or holidays, we're away for the Easter holidays. Please, please, please wait. And uh, we are not going to extend it to the end of those official holidays that people are on, but we are going to say, hey, this is the final reminder, last 24 hours, and this ends. We're not going to leave this running forever. We are going to be a very lenient and kind for the people that have messaged so kindly to extend this because of their holidays. But yeah, this is the final 24 hours. This will be the last time you ever get such a big discount and deal. And so if you want to take advantage of that for the very last opportunity, reminder, you can do that by entering the code BTC70K at checkout. Okay. If you have any issues with adding the codes, whether there's some sort of glitch, it's not showing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, any problems that you might have, message customer service via the live chat on the website. Or of course, you can always get into message customer service via the Discord, but the easiest way is via the website. There's a little live chat button, a live chat button in the bottom right of the screen. Tap that you know, and you, you'll be connected to customer service. They can help you with any glitches that you might have. But this is the final 24 hours, 70% off, the biggest discount we've ever done, the biggest discount we'll ever do, and it ends very, very soon. And that will be it, no more. <laughs> so uh, yeah, take advantage of that if you would like. And final words here on Bitcoin, we are currently moving up to the range height. So this is what's important. So let's see then on a lower term time frame what we have going on. Well, we of course, we can see right here, we have slight open interest increasing right now, but the volume as it stands very low. Okay, so we have low volume currently on a break, open interest increasing. Let's see what this looks like on a five minute chart. This is a nice opportunity, okay, to look at this together. We have the range high ever so slightly above us. If we just line this up to the exact wick, Let's line this up to the wick. We can see we are just a few dollars off, so we've got to be waiting for this to be taken. You know, I would not short prematurely. There's absolutely no reason to short this prematurely. We still got the open interest increases, right? We would like to see this come and break the channel high. The thing here is you're taking out this high, but yeah, I'm always going to be looking for that channel high. So this is just for a little bit of patience. You can see literally we're talking about its front run by a few dollars. And this is where sometimes people get caught out where they would short now stop loss above the range high. Okay. Price you know, you can see it here starting to pull back. This is people, what I would say prematurely, <laughs> uh, opening short trades or, or, or taking profits too early. There's no need to be so cautious, okay? For, for me, we're going to be moving up above this channel high, okay? Still looking at the order flow. We still have, you know, there's no reason to think we're not going to get this push up. I've seen this hundreds and thousands of times, right? Price will come up very close. It forms this like double top, doesn't quite take that liquidity, will sometimes, yes, get a bit of a pullback, but that pullback is simply an opportunity to bring in more shorts. And there you go. Yeah, you, you're moving on to it now. It's like I was saying, people short too early, right? And there we go, moving through the channel high. So that is what you, that's what you would expect. And where I was going with that is we see it sometimes when we pull back here, it forms like a double top, people get bearish, they start shorting, stop loss above the range high, they get stopped out, they wonder why. Well, it's because you don't front run when you're seeing that type of open interest increases, right? It's just it's just not going to happen. This is what I see. This order flow, honestly, goes, you're going to go from a 
30 to percent win rate to a 90 percent win rate look at this open interest increases price moving up through the channel this is all very very good of what you would want to see what you have to be careful of now is the trap trade scenario where if we come back into the channel so i'm not a trader by the way that trades breakouts i do not long breakouts never have never will what i look for is that potential reversal off of a failed auction if we now get the failed auction of this channel high we have trapped traders into the high with the open interest increases as it stands it's strength this is where you also have to have, be understanding this right now is strength it is a good breakout with open interest increases. I would not, definitely not, short yet. We're back above the range point of control. We're above the channel high. We've got open interest increases. Volume not too high, but as it stands, that's strength. Only if we come back into the channel do we now have a failed auction with trap longs above the high. So that is an if scenario if we get back into that range. I do want to go and update my team. <laughs> I'm going to go and update the champions right now because this is very important and, you know, they're, they're paying for that service. So I'm going to go and update the champions. If you want to get in on that update, well, you know, you can take advantage right now of the last bit of the deal and you will be in on that update that I'm going to give to them right now of explaining this order flow and what I'm going to be looking at next. OK, so, yeah, that's the place where you've got to be if you want to be first updated champions via chartchampions.com. I'm going to go and update them right now. <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much and follow the order flow. That's the secret source. I'm telling you that, that that's the secret source. It's all about the order flow. Love it. Love to see. Thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed and yeah. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.